Yo, what's going on guys? I just connected here. We're playing George's Memory Part 1. This is like a visual novel walkthrough type game. Um, narrative. Anyways, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you have more people this time, but you didn't know how many of them. Uh, your parents can respect both people in the city, so they're always invited many people. On uh, holidays, my mother believed I had to appreciate and blend in society and appreciate her care, but thought she cared too much. She didn't need the other people as much as she thought you really need. My father liked people. He preferred to blend in and drink and couldn't blame him. And you don't. You prefer to be alone in the garden without cake? You give your mother an empty plate waiting for another piece. Let's go with that one. At the doors, you ran against your father. You were looking at each other for a few seconds. He seemed a bit drunk. You left without saying a word. Uh, she's smiling warmly and gives you a large piece of cake. You don't feel that happiness anymore, but you glad she keeps traditions and makes cake on your birthday. After the table, you decide... I'm going to go decide to go to the garden. He agreed to play with you gladly and joined you. In the midst of the game, you got far from the house and closer to the shed. I thought there was like picture art to this. You read many medical books. Some people believe if you learn to do something, you'd forget how you do it. It's like riding a bicycle. You cannot just forget how to ride. Sometimes when you have to overcome some stress or head trauma, you can partly or completely lose the speech functions. Of course, if you had them, this pathologically is called am amnesia. Amsha. Anyways, do not confuse it with Alila. I don't know what word you're trying to go with, but um, which affects kids before their proverbial period. There are various types of uh, grammatical stuff. I don't know, but you generally decide, divide them into the two categories: sensorial and motor. Um, when a person has sensorial type, he or she cannot fully or Partly understand speech, but can't speak. The second type has quite the opposite symptoms. P person can still understand the speech, but cannot speak. You close a book at this moment. There we go. That's some. There we go. Now that scenery, that is why I bought the game. Because I saw the scenery, and I know you can move across things this is what I was going for really appreciate that oh okay left triggers to sprint okay what do you have to say postcard the address is written on the side okay Yo, know, see, this is pretty cool. The graphics in this type of game are pretty legit. Now, I kind of want to see what's up in this part. Press T or B on the gamepad for tips. I don't want to. Can you pick that up? It's a map of Norway. Okay. All right, let's go back to the path. I do like, now you can hear birds in the background. This is pretty cool. I'm just glad it's not, you're just not reading crap off the screen. I was looking for something. I'm very curious. Nothing down there. Huh. This scenery is really cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, this game was $1.59 on Steam. I do. So far at the beginning, I was a little nervous just because I thought it was going to be some type of narrative thing. Okay. There's something around here. Right? Or am I just being crazy? Did I miss something?
Alright, well, I'm just gonna continue. That's fine. Whatever. Um. The graphics, though, man. The layout. The land layout. It's cool. Even though you can't necessarily jump over anything. That is pretty slick. I do like all the work that was put in like the terrain, man. That it is on point. Ooh. Okay. 1987, and it's always comfortable in the garden. You spend much time doing your homework or just dreaming. Who is she? Uh, the shadow of the house always covered in the garden, so it is almost impossible to make out its features. She stood a loaf close to the shed. She was admiring the mom's pride. Nancy, it's a sort of... It's a sort of... Peonies? 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 Or maybe she just was... Maybe she was just thinking about something. I don't know what kind of magic my mom has, but she shrubs... But her shrubs are always magnificent. Magnificent. Jeez, I can't read today. And her flowers are huge. Do you like flowers, she asked. 1997 or 1977. Yeah, oh, God. It's all blurry. You could hear some voices from far, far away. Were you walking or crawling or flying? Then you always awake after a sudden punch. Sounds, colors all mixed up. It strangled. Frightened you? You try to cover your face with your hands. Is it blood? You could feel something hot and sticky on the chest. It was hard to breathe. You felt great pain and couldn't make a sound. Someone's hands were always taking you uh, fondly and carrying to the noise in the middle box. It's getting harder to breathe. You were trying to take off a strange thing that kept the air out of your body. Something sticks out of your neck. Something long and cold. Stranger's hands are taking you. Suddenly you can breathe and you pump air into your lungs. Today, father came home drunk. You go to your room, you listen to him. He hear him crying outside your door, but you couldn't say anything to support him. 1978. Holy shit. <clears throat> um, it was hard for you to come closer, but you overcome yourself. She was wearing all black, blunt bob, black hair as well. You were silent. I asked a question. Why are you not answering me? She asked again and turned around. You noticed her lipstick was black either. You chuckled. Who puts on makeup at your age? Uh, she was hardly older than you. She raised the eyebrows and her deep and very kind eyes filled with sadness. She looked at your neck and you covered with a scar with a neckband. I'm sorry, didn't expect to see the birthday boy here. It was awkward for you to confuse her with all that. If she'd read your mind, she'd wave her hand and told quickly, No, it's me who confused you. Sorry. I'm Magdalena. Magdalena. Delena? Magdalena. Uh, and your name's George. I know that. Uh, you give a hand sh to shake it. Sure, let's do that. All right, here we go. This is cool. This is, this is pretty slick. Hey, like, even like. I wish there was more this in the game except the reading screens. I'm not a big reading screen type of guy. I kind of get bored. I know it's a narrative game, but I thought it had I thought it was going to be something where it talks to you on the way to your route. But apparently not. What the fuck open the door. Anatomy. Oh, you can sway your, uh, you, you do have a foot and hand. Okay. I don't know what you want. Okay. Sure. I'm just gonna be moving chairs. Okay. 
so far this is uh, interesting. I can interact with chairs maybe, maybe not. It highlights, so you would think. Candle. Okay. Baby candle maybe. Maybe not. How about that? Uh, we will just leave the chairs alone. I suppose I should not be in charge of uh, doing things well for this. Huh. Alright. And there this game looked good at the beginning. This narrative, anyways, was a little boring. But, uh... I don't know what the hell it did after that door and I tried to go back through. Did the same thing. I don't know. So, this may not be the best review for this product. The graphics are legit, I'll give it that, but I don't, I wouldn't recommend it. No, I'm sorry, but game's alright. It's pretty cool in a sense of the graphics, the narrative. Walking around a free roaming finding clues or like finding different things that's pretty sweet but I don't know where that sec you can't do anything through that second door so I don't know thank you all very much for tuning in hope you have a nice night